Hey, good evening, South Texas. I'm Chris Thomason, live here at the Ortiz Center for one of the premier events every year, the South Texas Winter Baseball Banquet. Always a great way to kick off the professional college and high school baseball seasons. Now, I'm joined by the Lifetime Achievement Award winner tonight, Bobby Cuellar, and he was a former William Adams pitcher turned Alice High School uh, the year after he graduated. And uh, Bobby, first, just what does this honor mean to you to, to be recognized with this award tonight? I think it, the biggest thing about this honor is the, the, the honor of, of all the people that helped me get to where I'm at right now. The, the journey of leaving Alice, Texas 50 years ago to go to the University of Texas for 47 years. I've, I spent in professional baseball. It's just all the people that have been around me, all the people I've met, and it's you know it's just an honor to, to be here and be recognized for something I love to do. And you've been coaching now for 37 years after your playing career. You know, from from back in the 70s and 80s, how has the game changed from then to now? Oh, the game's changed quite a bit. Uh, back when I started playing, when you got hurt, you better not get hurt. I mean, there weren't too many. Uh, Injured reserve stuff. Uh, we pitched, no pitch counts. You pitch when you're, you know, you had to pitch. And but the game itself really never changes. I mean, somebody steps on a mound, somebody hits a ball, somebody catches it, and you know, you band together a group of guys and you play 140 games. And if you're good, you make the playoffs. If not, you go home. And I, I know you're still here in the area in the off seasons. Um, South Texas is kind of a baseball mecca of Texas, high school baseball. How has the area been able to stay so good for so long? There's a lot of good coaches around here, too. There's a lot of people that put in a lot of time, a lot of parents that put in a lot of time. I mean, I've gotten to know a lot of the coaches around here some way, one way or another, and there's a lot of good people that teach our children how to play baseball and also how to take care of themselves. And and when you have a, when you have people like that around, you know, you just draw people to the game of baseball, and, and good things usually happen when you have that situation. All right. Well, thanks, Bobby. I appreciate it, and congrats on receiving the, the honor tonight. Well, 